Coming up at about 23. We've got to get it to the 45-yard line of Texas Tech. Steps up, forced out of the pocket, going to the sideline, and he steps out of bounds across the 40, and he's out of bounds at the Aggie 42-yard line. Delay a game. Doesn't make much difference on this. We'll take five here. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. One return guy is Detron Lewis. And here's the kick. Oh, he hit this one well. Back it up is Lewis all the way back to the uh, 15. Dropped the ball. Almost broke a tackle. After he dropped it, picked it up. Kenny Brown's the guy that knocked him down at the 13-yard line. First down and 10. A minute 39 to go until halftime. The Aggies lead 17 to 14. First play will be on the ground. And it will cross the line of scrimmage and go to the 16. Line of scrimmage the 13. So at the 16, they picked up three. Second down, seven. So here we go at the 16-yard line. A screen. And he had it blocked. Somebody got a hand on that. That was Bob Miller. Miller. Got a hand on it. Knocked it down. That's an incomplete pass. Clock is stopped down. That incomplete at 118. He's got it. He throws it. And it is incomplete. Knocked away that time by Terrence Frederick. It was intended for Torres. Dustin Harris is an up back in this formation. Here's the kick. Kicks it straight up in the air. We're going to come up, and the ball is going to kick. Call for a fair catch. Couldn't get to it. Neither the wise thing is let it go, and it rolls out of bounds across the 50. He'll stand at the 35-yard line to take the snap. There it is. He's got some pressure. He is going to throw, and two defenders run together on a ball that was almost picked off that time. Ball at the AM 40. 17 14 AM over Tech. Outside pressure. Rolls, throws, slope at the 40. Get out of bounds. He does across the 35 at the Tech 34 yard line. He went out. It was first down and 10. The ball at the 34 yard line of the Red Raiders. Hash mark right. Shotgun Tannehill throws it. That's gray, and he'll step out of bounds. Hash right, half back to the right. And three, a little triangle formation. Loft in one. We're going fuller again. He's coming back to get the ball. Oh, he couldn't hang on that time. Leap high at the 10 yard line and dropped it. And a flag goes down. I mean, helmet to helmet, I think, Dave. Is it? I and Personal foul, number 16 of the defense, targeting the defense's player. 15 yards from the previous spot, oh. first down. That's another call, targeting a defenseless player. Knocking on the door, a and 39 seconds to go in the first half. Tannehill throws, and he throws it to Swope. They're going to push Swope out of bounds. So now here's the second down and three at the Tech 11-yard line. We've got 35 seconds to go. There's a pass. He threw it over the middle. That's a first down and goal. AM at the five yard line. Watch a coup on the hash mark. Top hash mark caught it. First down and goal at the five. Tannehill's got the snap. Tannehill starts to throw, starts to run. Now he's going to throw, and it's knocked down inside the end zone. Ooh, he threw that into a bunch of traffic. Hicks just checked in as the tight end on the right side, half back to the right. Tannehill looking to throw. He does. He threw it behind uh, Fuller. If he throws it in front of him, we're going to score a touchdown. But instead, it went behind him. Fuller brought the uh, right arm back, trying to bring it in. Snap. Throw. High. Man, I've got a hand on that. Got Smoke. Hit. Flag down. That's what I think. Personal foul. Number 26 of the defense. Coming to be enforced half the distance to the goal. First down. Oh, slot to the left. Halfback right of Tannehill. Tannehill throws a hard pass. Touchdown, Fuller. Oh, he streamlined that one. That was, that was a bullet to Fuller. He just caught the touchdown pass. Nine seconds left. Made it 23-14. Extra point to come. Well, you got a double slant route. You got Swope on the inside, Fuller on the outside. This is like stealing. Perfect throw. Fuller beats his man on the inside. Touchdown. Now the extra point. Nine seconds remaining. 23 to 14. It's up and it's good. It's now 24 to 14. Texas A&M leading Texas Tech. The shadow of the press box covered about half midfield. It had to be a bouncer. Dropped, picked up at the 19. The return. There's a big crowd right there. The 32. Hold him up. Keep holding him up. That'll do it. It, it, it took nine <laughs> seconds off the clock before they stopped it. <laughs> and now let's go down on the field. Here's Tom. And uh, we're about ready to kick it off. Any thoughts there, Dave, before we 
play oh, the second need, half. We need a repeat of the first half here in the second half. The Aggies can take home a victory. Great kick. He's going to put it out of the back of the end zone. Takes a hop. Now hits the end line and goes out back there. They and saying something here to his teammates. And they have gone here to the uh, right side. That goes to Lewis. Detron Lewis caught that one. Eight, the ball at the Tech 22-yard line. He just moved on the left side. The tackle did. That'll be uh, Lonnie Edwards moving. He is a junior from Brownsboro. So there'll be a five-yard mark off. Garrick Williams was stepping up there on the line, making him nervous. Yeah. That moved it back five across the 20, back to the 17-yard line. Second down and 13. Snapped. Throws wide open here, gets back to the 20. Going to get out to the 24 yard line. A helmet came off to the guy that caught the ball. Halfback right. Potts, the snap, has some pressure. Throws. That'll be a first down. Broken tackle. 40. Foot race. 50. 45. And now the Aggies are closing, and that will be Detron Lewis catching it. He's across the 25. He goes to the 22 yard line. Lewis caught it. Campbell finally caught him. Ags lead 24 14. Tech knocking on the door again. And he's going to throw it under some pressure. Lewis caught it. That'll be a fumble ball. Goes into the end zone, and the Aggies are going to fall on it in the end zone. Detron Lewis caught it, fumbled it into the zone. Everybody scrambling for it. That'll be a touchback. Second one we get today. 12.57 to go, third quarter, 24-14. Empty in the backfield. Tannehill has it. Going to throw, and it's Fuller. And he couldn't hang on. At A&M 20, single setback. That guy just got it at the 20. Need to break one here and falling forward and going down at the 27 yard lines. Kristen Michael. Here we go, right back to the line of scrimmage. Tannehill got the snap. Tannehill's wanting to throw and he does. He finds Michael. Safety valve 30. He's on the sideline and out of bounds he goes at the Aggie 42 yard line. Cool. He'll pick up 15 in the first. First down and 10. The Aggies at the 42 yard line. Here's another nice run and he gets it out across the 45. That's Michael again to the 49 yard line. Swope and a slot left side. The man to his left is Fuller. Two good ones in that direction. And he's looking in that direction. And Swope has it at the 50. He's on the sideline and they're trying to bring him down. They do by by the jersey went out at the 37 of Texas Tech. Swope goes in motion, goes set now as a right halfback. They fake to him on a handoff. Rolling right, Tannehill stops. One guy ran right by him. Now he's deciding to run with the ball. They hit him on the hip and knock him out across the 35 into the Tech bench at the 33-yard line. Tannehill now 306 yards passing today on 26 completions. Here's the second down play, and we will be close for a first down as they hand off. Well, Kristen Michael showing his power up the middle, and he'll be about two yards short. Already snapped it again. Here goes Michael. Got a first down. Spins away from the first guy. The second guy won't let up, and he just went to the 21-yard line. First down, Texas A&M. Here we go, A&M first down and 10. Ball's knocked down at the line of scrimmage as Tannehill was throwing back to the right side. Second down play, A&M. A ball at the Texas Tech 22. Snapped, drops back, throws way out in front of the intended receiver that time. Split in left, empty in the backfield. One of the slot guys over there was Michael. He went back in motion, goes set. The ball just got away from Tannehill on a snap to hit his shoulder, and it falls back outside the 35. He has 306 yards right now. There's the snap. And there's his poocher. And we got a chance. <laughs> we do it the five yard line. That's either Frederick, who is it, 11? Terrence Frederick. Terrence Frederick. When we get the ball for a second time, 9.45 to go third quarter. The Aggies lead Texas Tech 24 14. The snap, they'll go on the ground. And they're fighting for the 10 yard line, and it probably is going to be the 10. Like we were threatening blitz. Now Williams will back off the line of scrimmage. They're taking a lot of time here to snap this ball. Still haven't snapped it. Now they have. Drops back to the two. Going to throw it away, and it's out of reach, and a split end to the left side. Snapped, drop back, throw it, goes out to the left side. The Aggies are going to prevent a first down. And he's able to make an open field tackle and hold him three yards short of the first. Well, McNeil's not very uh, far back here, and now he starts to backpedal as the ball is punted. He waits. He caught it at the 40. Somebody's got him by the jersey. They're wrestling him down, and he goes down inside the 40-yard line. And the clock at 8.21 here in the third quarter, 24-14. And we just hand it off and get some yards out of that. Got about six. Now under eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Tannehill started out under center. 
backs up to the 40, steps up to the line again. Still got plenty of time on the huddle clock. Now he's under center again. And he just decided to give that one to Grade. Left corner, 50. Can he go? He may. He's at the 25, 20. He's at the 10, 5. He just went touchdown. 54 yards. Well, I, I said it one play too soon. They've really established that inside zone play. Ran it to the right side, picked up five. This one, he cuts it outside, outruns everybody down the sideline. The Aggies have a touchdown here in the second half and a commanding lead at 30 to 14. 7.36 left in the third quarter. 54 on the run by Gray. Gray now will go to uh, eight carry 67 yards. Extra point is good. And no timeout down on the field, Tom. And our total offense now on 59 plays goes to 395 for today. And our average play is 6.7 per snap. The kickoff is uh, about two yards deep. They're going to bring it out right out to the uh, 15, a cut, and across the 15, and a good open field tackle. Texas Tech, the Aggies now with 7.30 left in the third quarter, leading Tech 31 to 14. Potts at the 14 takes his snap. Screen goes to the left side. Stop starts up again. A yard to the 20. Second down and nine at the Tech 20. Half back left. Drops back. He's under pressure. He's sacked inside the 10. And he's down at the Tech 7, maybe the 8-yard line. That was Miller and Williams. They made a quarterback sandwich. Kicking the ball today. Texas Tech 4 for an average of 38-5. By LaCour, senior from Kingwood. Where is this one? Fair catch. Takes it at the 39-yard line. Well, about the same spot as last time, Dave. They started at the 40, this time at the 39. Now back to Dave and Dave in the AT&T broadcast booth. First down and 10 at the 40-yard line. A throw, a catch. It's going to be uh, McCoy. McCoy caught it. He got eight. Receiver finally, and it's a nice throw and a good catch and a big pickup for the Aggies. And a handoff on second down and two. First down carry that time by Kristen Michael. All right, first down and 10. And uh, Gray now will come in at the tailback position, and Prelo is there as a fullback. Put Swope in motion, pitch, left side, turn the corner. They swarm on Gray and knock him down a two-yard, maybe a two-yard pickup. Second down, they gave him two a moment to go to the 47-yard line. That was not where they initially had put the ball down. So second down and eight, the Aggies at the 47. Stops for a moment, starts up again, trying to pick a good hole. Shotgun formation, A&M, halfback left. Tannehill drops back across the 50, throws, first down, Swope starts, starts up again. It's a completed pass as he stepped out at the 32-yard line. First down and 10, snapped it in a hurry, pitch, left side, turned the corner, starts, starts up again, and he's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Gray is the lone setback with Tannehill under center. Drops back. Lofts one, that's Fuller again. We've got a flag down, we're gonna get caught for a hold. Let's see what they do. They're gonna take it. 10 yard penalty, second down. Shotgun Tannehill on second down and 17. The line of scrimmage back to the 39. Shovel pass at Stevens. At the 20, got a first down. He is at the 17 yard line of Texas Tech. The rusher go right by him and then just turns around and catches it for 22. First down and 10, give it to Stevens again. He's got a nice hole, we're gonna get a hold, speaking of, that's a H-O-L-E at first, and then a H-O-L-D in the second place. He's in point blank range down inside the 20. Number 70 of the offense, 10 yard penalty, first down. Matt Adams. First down play, Texas A&M. Tech 27, Ags lead 31-14. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. A lot of time to throw, he will. That is, oh man, watch a coup. Had it at the 12 yard line. And he dropped it. 31-14, 254 to go, third quarter. The Aggies lead. Tannehill time. Now he's forced out of the pocket. He's got a big old defensive lineman chasing him. They're going to the sideline. He's turning it down the sideline. Steps out as he comes face to face with, I think, a linebacker there at the 24-yard line. All right, Bradley Stevens half back to the right side. Three wides on this side. That's the open side. High snap, he's looking toward the open side. He's gonna throw it, and that was caught through the hands of a defensive back, and that was a third down play, and then a flag at the point of the tackle. Must have been a big one, the catch is 14. Number 41 of the defense. Penalty being forced from the end of the run, half the distance to the goal, first down. Just updated Fuller, nine catches, 125 yards. 
And they gave it to Gray. Gray, a stiff arm. He is trying to dive in. He didn't get there. He goes out of bounds. Tannehill now 363 yards passing the ball. On the ground, we have a chance to get in. Touchdown, the handoff goes to Gray. Aggies, minute 36 to go. Third quarter just made it 37-14, the PAT to come. Gray takes it in from two yards out, and the Aggies have scored again. All right, it's now 37-14, the extra point, the hold by Tannehill. He slaps high fives with Bullock. 136 remaining. Third quarter, the Aggies 38-14. Kick. Going to go back deep in the end zone. Dropped it. It rolls out on the sideline. That was Eric Stevens. Can't handle that one. The Ags and the Sooners here on this field next Saturday night at 6 o'clock. Be here. First down and 10. Potts hands off to the running back who went set. That's Stevens. Broke a tackle. Broke another tackle. He's close for a first down. He rolls at the 30 and out uh, across the 31. Halfback left. Potts standing at the Tech 25 on a first down and 10 at their 31-yard line. Time to throw. He will deliver. Great defensive play. Tony Gerard, Eddie Mathis, and Patterson, the up-front guys for AM. Play action by Potts. Throws. Catch at the 35-yard line. Potts waiting. The snap, trying to bring the house, and it's an incomplete pass. Line of scrimmage, the 34. They have kicked five times, the 38-2 average. Good snap, chest high. Here is McNeil, drifting over. <laughs> and on the run, he makes the catch. Inside the 30, Fuller now over 2,000 yards, career receiving. He has 10 catches. That matches his uh, career high. All right, no, he has nine right now. Ten is his career high. That's Fuller. He got number ten. Stiff arm, ankle tackle, Aggie 45-yard line. Fuller just caught number ten. And Eugene Nebo is the guy that saved a touchdown at the 45 of AM. First down and ten. Here we go. AM, first down and ten at their 45-yard line. On the ground. Nice hole. First down. AM. Cyrus Gray. And giving Cyrus room to get 10. Pretty low tight end right side. He's in a passing pattern. And we're lobbing it again. Here we go. And we can't get to it. I think that's Swope, isn't it? Swope is set up. Now Tannehill's going to. No, it's going to be uh, preload. And he's set up as a fullback as he switched. Oh, that's been intercepted by Texas Tech. And they are going to return it here to the Aggie 42. That's Bront Bird, his second interception of the season. They're going to bring in Stephen Sheffield now, who's thrown eight passes and completed two for 17 yards and a long of nine. He is replacing Taylor Potts here in the fourth quarter. First down and 10 at the Aggie 42 for Sheffield. Three wides on the right side. Drops back, now he's forced to run. He is going to go to the sideline at the 40-yard line. He got two yards on that. I would think they brought in Sheffield because he moves better than does Potts, and he's able to uh, to run the ball. Going to throw, screen, right side. The Aggies, that is off. Terrence Frederick defeated a block. Need to the 32-yard line. Halfback right of Sheffield. Standing at the Aggie 43 on the snap. Throws a catch. That's a first down and tripped up. May have hit his own one of his own uh, re- receivers back there. Ball caught by Moore. His first catch today. First down and ten at the Aggie 24. Sheffield the snap. Sheffield dancing around. He's got a guy. And that guy slipped and fell as he caught the ball. They have fumbled twice. Second down play. Sheffield eludes one guy. He decides to run with it. And he slammed at the 25-yard line in front of the Tech bench. Sheffield slammed there by Sean Porter. They need the Aggie 14 for a first down. They're in four-down territory. A throw. They're going to get a first down. That's a catch. That's caught by. Going to be caught by Moore, and he was tackled by Coriel Judy. Three wides to the right. Sheffield the snap. Looks over the middle. Catch, and he falls into the end zone. Touchdown. Ball caught by Leong. That's his 11th touchdown of the season. Tech has just scored to make it 38 to 20 with 11.30 to go in the fourth quarter with the 11.30 time mark showing up on the clock. Man went in motion. Sheffield takes the snap, looking to the end zone, and that ball is thrown out of bounds on the sideline, so the try for two is no good. Brandell Jackson is back to return uh, the kick along with Cyrus Gray. And they have kicked it to Brandell at the one yard line to the 10, to the 15. He spilled at about the 20 yard line. 
Tech scored, went for two, didn't make it. Tannehill takes his snap. He is throwing deep. He's got Swope. Swope looking back, and uh, flag's going to be thrown. Yes, it is. And he's back to the yeah. ball on the go route. Number 31 of the defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Okay, you like nice. that. Texas Tech is inside the five-yard line, and they get, get it on a fumble twice. That's just fabulous. First down and 10 after the penalty at the 34-yard line. There's a pass, a safety valve. It goes to Gray, and Gray was doing everything he could to keep from stepping out of bounds. Going to make it to the 11-minute mark before we snap this ball. Single setback. Tannehill was under center. Gray pushing straight ahead. Oh, got a first down. A little second effort right there, plus some help from his O-line. First down at the AM 47 under center. Going to air it out. Comes back. Wachaku caught it. Wachaku broke a tackle. He sidelined into the cross the 40, shy of the 35. Tannehill now believes going to go above 400 on that pass. 419 is the school record for a single game. 407, Tannehill. Pitch coming back right side, turning the corner. Gray drug into the sideline of the Aggie bench. Crosses the 30, goes to the 28, 29 yard line. Halfback right, they will air it out. He will throw, and he's got Fuller. Fuller caught it, and he will step out. It's an incomplete pass. Evaluation to After further review, go to AggieLacing.com. Receiver caught the football and then stepped out of bounds at the one. It'll be AM first to goal at the one. Step. All right, we go first down and goal at the uh, one yard line. Drops back, throws, catch. It's gonna be Lamoth. Lamoth caught it, touchdown. Great play action fake by Ryan Tannehill. Same play he scored on earlier for Lamoth. The, the play action fake of the lead and Lamoth goes out into the flat. This time the ball a little bit high. Great catch by Lamoth as he pulls it down for his second touchdown of the day. Just made it a 44-20 uh, to 20 Aggie lead. Lamoth from Tannehill. Extra points. He is up and good, and uh, apparently no timeout will be called. Now about to kick off. And the kick, good return here on a short one. That goes across the 45 out to about the 44-yard line. 9-19 remaining, and 10 